New survey is aiming to improve levels of public understanding of bowel cancer and the importance of early diagnosis. The Stay on Track survey was partially set up by former British athlete Chris Akabusi after his own bowel cancer scare just last year. Lucky that he is with us here now to talk about it in more detail. Hi, Chris. It's great to see you. Glad to see you looking so well. Everything was OK, was it? Yeah, thank you very much, Kat. Hope to actually see you in person, but this this will this will do. Oh, you're very um, welcome yeah, to come and see so... us anytime you want, Chris. Sorry, you were saying. <laughs> Yeah, no, okay. So thank you very much. You know, I, I, I'm in great shape and um, I'm really happy to be involved in this you know, stay on track campaign with uh, Norgene and, and Bowel Cancer UK. You know, it was such a close call. Uh, and it was Sarah Jane, me, who um, really encouraged me with Tanya when I was actually on Sky reviewing okay. the papers, not to be one of those guys, you know, the, the two thirds of the people who get the symptoms, but want to style it out and i've been styling it out for a whole year when sarah jane said well let's change that one and when i went to see my doctor and i told him about symptoms straight away colonoscopy and they found some some polyps that looked a little bit dodgy and uh within a week i was having an operation took out a third of my colon and um also the polyps uh, and fortunately for me, it was just before they turned cancerous and so i got away with it but i really am here to encourage especially my age group, you know, my demographic, men, 50s, 60s, 70s, who were brought up to sort of be tough and, and, and style it out. You know, real men, make, them sh make sure that they're going to be around for their grandchildren. And so do take care and, and do something about it. Ah, that's fantastic news about SJ. She's a smart girl. I'm glad that she talked you into doing that. How important did the doctors tell you was early diagnosis in treating bowel cancer? Look, if you if if you get it really really early, you've got a ninety percent chance in stage one of survival. If you wait till it gets to stage four, you've got a ten percent chance. I was told even at my early stage that if I'd waited for another six months, it could have been very very naughty and I could have been dead within five years. Look, I was sixty then. That's only, I'm 65 in two and a half years' time. The idea that I'm not going to be here and, and not laughing anymore is quite frightening for me. You know, whereas now it looks likely that I could live, like most of us, to 75 or 80. Mm. Um, I suppose one of the problems is that, especially men, older men, find it embarrassing and they just don't want to go to the doctor. I mean, what's the point in dying of ignorance, though? Uh, absolutely, Kay. Look... We've got lots of, I mean, I, I know we've been through some real tough times now with, with, with COVID-19 and that's given an extra layer of excuses for us not to go and see our doctor. Um, the challenges are, though, that potentially a lot of people who were scared to go to the doctor in 18 months' time are going to have some very, very bad news that could be preventable. Bowel cancer is the second biggest killer. Bowel cancer is the fourth biggest ca cancer, but it doesn't need to be. As I've just told you, catch it early... You've got a 90%, 94% chance of survival. It really doesn't make sense. And we've got a lot of highly qualified doctors sitting there doing this because we are not going. Go and see them. Look, this morning, your doctor has probably seen, please excuse me, four or five bums this morning. They can look at yours too and they're not going to be phased. That's a very good point. Well made. Um, and it's men particularly, isn't it, who are embarrassed. What is it about men being embarrassed when they go to the doctor? What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> well, Kay, look, you think, I actually think you, you, it's a good point here. Look, I think young ladies are introduced to having their private areas looked at very, very early. You know, they do screening for cervical cancer and stuff. When you're in your teens, in your teens, Men, the only people that look at your private bits are your mum and your lovers. And, you know, you just feel a little bit awkward. But so I would love an idea of getting us fellas and maybe my younger brothers, maybe younger men, I, you know, I don't know, maybe younger men in their 20s, 30s are much more comfortable, you know, letting other people look at them, look, look at them down there. 
But I would like to see men being introduced to that experience like women do much earlier on so that when you do get to your 40s, 50s and 60s and you do start seeing symptoms, you know, blood in your stools or changes in your bowel movements, you know, or, 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 or pains in your stomach, you're not too scared to go and see your doctor. You go and do something about it. You don't think you're hard and you're tough by not going. Go and see your doctor. And as a result, here you are, larger than life, again, as usual. <laughs> what are you doing now? What's, what's next for you? Well, I'm studying, so I'm just about to finish my degree as a Master of Arts in, in existential coaching. So I'm really excited about that. Um, more, you're going to hear me, you're going to see me on a few TV shows coming up again, you know, the odd programme where it's a game and it's a laugh and I'm looking forward to some of that. And hopefully I'm going to be seeing you again, Kay, live and direct in your studio. I simply, <laughs> simply cannot wait. It's good to talk to you. Thanks very much, Chris. Great to bless see you, you looking Kay. so well. Thank you. Bless you. Oh, bless you too. Thanks very much, indeed. So it's our very own SJ that could well have saved his life.